so I guess I will talk about my most recent um, accomplishment or I guess biggest battle that I've had um, to this point uh, where I had to really come through and show my persistence. Um, I knew that I've always wanted to help people. I just didn't know in what way. Um, I knew that I wanted to do something in the medical field. I just wasn't sure where my role would be. Um, so when I finished grad school, the first time, because I, I have a master's in special education, I thought, you know, maybe this is going to be my calling. I'm going to be in the classroom. And it was in my final seminar class um, with my professor, he was giving us a speech because um, our time with him was ending and he was just, you know, giving us his well wishes and kind of like sending us off. Um, the one thing that he told us was like, just do it, guys. Um, and that really resonated with me. Um, he said, you know, take that trip, uh, buy that expensive car that you really can't afford, but like you'll figure it out. Um, ask that girl on the date. Uh, you know, he's like, just do it. You guys are young and you don't want to look back on your life when you're old and gray and think, man, I wish I would have done this. Um, so him saying that really struck a chord with me. And I started thinking, you know, is this really where I'm supposed to be? Is this really what I want to do? Um, and I decided, you know, now is the time. I know it's going to be expensive, but if this is not where my heart is, lies you know I need to pursue something that I know is going to make me happy and fulfill me um so then I started thinking you know in the back of my mind I've always had it ever since I had finished um undergrad that I wanted to get a master's in communication sciences and disorders to become a speech pathologist I just didn't know if I had what it took I didn't want to get that rejection letter and I didn't want to you know, feel like I wasn't good enough because I think in the back of my mind, I felt like I wasn't. So I kind of just threw myself in my work as an assistant for like five years um, before I had that class and I was sitting in that seminar and him saying, you know, just do it. I was like driving home in my car thinking, you know, like maybe I do just need to do it and see what happens. If I, if I don't get accepted, I'm sure there's a million other programs in the United States that would be willing to give me that opportunity. Um, and so weird how, like, my friends and I joke around how, um, like, our phones have, like, trackers because I got home that evening and I was, like, scrolling through my newsfeed on Instagram and I got an ad for the a speech pathology program at Baylor was opening up, like, an online extension. So I inquired and somebody contacted me the next day and I spoke to her for a little bit and she said that she thought I would be a really good candidate and I should just apply and see what happens. And so I did. And lucky for me, the first application was the first acceptance. And that started my journey. So through that time, you know, through the pandemic, it affected all of us in many different ways. Um, I was able to get through it and finally able to graduate in December. And it was like one of those like, like coming to light moments as like I, they called my name and I walked down that stage and I sat down and I was like, you know, like I, I did it. I, I'm here. I made it. Um, all thanks to, you know, the awesome support system that I have. And I was just so, and I still am, I'm so, so grateful. And it really just proved to myself more than anything that I am a persister. <laughs>